Gravity has a lot of times in the exactly. game. Uh, and Austin just never stopped exuding that control over the game when he was playing against Jason and winners. So let's see if Jason's able to actually take hold of this match in losers and get his run back. Yeah, he's carrying in some momentum from playing so well in that game against Disco Bunny. So we'll see if he can carry that in. Really smart by Jason right there. He was able to jab Austin out of trying to get the re-grab there. He wanted the down throw fair re-grab to get a whole bunch of damage, but uh, Jason just not falling for it. What well, Jason? Jason is already playing so much better in this matchup, and the reason is is that he's not getting as aggressive oh as he my was. God. Ah. That won't kill, but I'll certainly be good damage. Hit him with the Chris Bryant. All right. Austin, oh, coming back on stage with that up air. I really like that. And quickly with the neutral air. Is he dead? No, no great really tech. tech. Yeah. So what Jason was doing really well at the start of the match, uh, and still doing well most of the time, is that he's not approaching as much as he did in that first game. And that's why he was able to get that. I mean, Austin got a big punish on him for approaching once because he's right. Austin. That's what he does. And he got a big jab lock, a lot of damage, but that damage doesn't really tell the full story. I feel like Jason has actually been controlling the match a little bit more. Uh, but Jay but uh, Austin was able to capitalize over situations a little better. Just like that, he capitalized on Jason unsafely attacking him and Austin out of shield using that back air. And I think a big part of this is that Jason can't really do the kind of normal Fox stuff that he wants to, like up tilt to up air, because of how good Ness's air dodge is. Yeah. And really, that's the whole story in this matchup, is that Fox kind of needs to find the unorthodox methods of getting the kill. Right. Uh, I feel like Jason is a lot less of a drill up smash or near up smash kind of Fox. He has it every once in a while. He loves his auto cancel down air, but he doesn't always do that into the up smash, right? He likes getting his dash attack into up smash. Ooh! He likes getting his that dash attack into up air. You know, he likes... He likes setting them up into up air kills, yeah. or back air kills, or edge guards. Or that back air. Yeah, right there. Uh, he doesn't traditionally land as many up smashes as other foxes, so in this matchup, he might have to go for a little bit more of that. And it's funny because, you know, you can look back even just like four or five months ago and see Jason play Fox, and it was all about the up smash. It was yeah. all about the down air cross ups on shield to, into the up smash, and he has changed up his game, adapting to what other people have been telling him based on their gameplay, which is, I'm not falling for that. Right, and now he he's, for... yeah, now he's putting in all of these new options. Yeah, he went for the auto cancel down air there and he just got forward aired by Ness. Everyone has learned how good auto cancel down air is. They don't like to mess with it as much. And now it's not as scary of an option, really. Jason now past the oh. percent. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my wow. god! Just enough pummels, even Jason in shock. Jason and and Austin. Jason turns to Austin and audibly said, Really? <laughs> and Austin just shrugged. Like, man, I didn't I didn't decide for Ness to have this back throw. I'm not I'm not Sakurai. He Ooh. pummeled him the exact amount of times that he needed to. There was That was insane. It and was yeah. I was expecting a forward throw or something of the sort. I was expecting for it, though. Absolutely. But so, Austin was like, I'm going to go for it. And boy, did it work. That's just the way that Austin plays. And, you know, maybe we'll see some more, which we all hope that we will. I mean, you can feel the control waning from Jason's favor into Austin's at the... Oh, my oh, God. Okay. He, he was a madman. He had that <laughs> idea right there. He wanted to jab him. So do you have to come back up? But... Um, All right. You can you can feel. Ooh. You can feel the control. Austin. What an incredible combo just off of edge guards alone. And Jason is yet to touch the ground. Oh my um, God! Is he he's dead. dead. Austin. That is to make sure. not the first time that Austin has gimped Jason with the tail of that up B either. Remember when they played first in winners, he did <laughs> gimp him all the way at the bottom when Jason thought he had his number, and Austin just took the stock away from him. And Man. he does very similarly the same thing here. He's got real good aim with that. Yeah. Really, really good presence of mind out of Austin. All right. The momentum that shifted from game one, uh, from Jason from the first half to Austin on the second half, has carried over so well into this next game. And Austin is just a steam train that will not stop shoveling coal Ooh. into its engine. But Jason is... Uh, he literally shoveled him into the up blast zone. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Scooped him up with that up smash. Ooh, here comes... Oh! Oh, my God! He is oh. a genius! How did he... 
That was a really, really smart escape right there. Yeah. That could have been very dangerous for either party. I think that if Austin had connected that PK Thunder 2, he might have been eating a punish from Jason. Oh, yeah. Um, again, we're seeing the trademark up air combos from Jason not connecting because of Austin's uh, floatiness. His uh, intense aerial drift and air dodge makes it all so much diff so much more difficult. Uh, I think that... I think that the change in Jason's play right now is getting to Austin a little bit. I think he's a little bit on autopilot mode and trying to recover a little bit mentally from what's been going on recently. Ooh, catching his roll there, though. He does have Jason off stage, and this is where he does so much work. Uh, it's really, really hard for Jason to get back. Wow, and that up air will do it. It was just one opportunity. He had one shot, one opportunity to put Jason off stage. And did he capture it or did he let it slip? He did not let it slip. He captured it. It was, it was, it was, it was a beautiful edge guard. Beautiful edge guard. Uh, there that was, was no that spaghetti. Was, that was the story of that second game. Was just how well Austin was able to edge guard Jason, and that will happen. That is one of Fox's biggest weaknesses: is that he does not have. He has a very exploitable recovery on stage. Very, very strong. Off stage, not so much. Not so much. Not so much. Uh, that's where. It, that's that's what evens out a lot of these matchups. Yeah. Uh, the the big rough thing is that uh, on stage, Ness gets his throw combos and his juggles and his making you not happy with life. And then off stage, you don't.